Konnichiwa. Hope everyone's good. So I thought I would do a real quick video on some of the military field dressings and bandages that I keep in my first aid kit and what I recommend. So the first one and probably the most famous is the Israeli bandage or emergency bandage. I like the four inch one. Fits in all my kits nicely. It's double wrapped so I always take the first wrapping off and I just store them like this in the kits. And I've had this one for two years, no issues with it getting punctured or anything like that. So it's still good and usable. Uh, the second one is the Trauma Fix Military Field Dressing. This one's also double wrapped. Stay. And it looks like this when you take it out the first wrap. It's a lot thinner than the Israeli, but it's an inch wider. And the third one is the Israeli, the camera wants to focus, field dressing. Not to be confused with the Israeli bandage, it's a different animal. So with the Israeli field dressing, it's single wrapped, not well, double wrapped, but once you get through the first wrapping, it's not really a uh, plastic sealed or anything, it's wrapped in paper. So you can't really store it without the first wrap. So it's a lot thinner, about the same thickness as the Trauma Fix, but a lot smaller. So this is perfect for just small little basic first aid kits. And with it being Israeli, its instructions are in Hebrew. I don't think that's Arabic. I don't know. But uh, that's them three. So the Israeli field dressings probably is the one that takes the longest to apply. Just a big, thick gauze pad that you'd wrap around a wound. It's not the uh, strongest material in the world, so if you pull it too tight you will probably rip it. But that's the uh, Israeli field dressing. So with the trauma fix you get two tear points, one there and one there, and with the Israeli, you get one tear point there. So if you're in a hurry, they're a little, if you're in a panic or something, if you're bleeding a lot, they might be a little hard to find the tear points. But this one's a real good one, real nice, strong material. And again, it's just a nice big pad. I think it's 10 by 19 centimeters. I think. Yeah, 10 by 19 centimeters for the pad. And on the bottom of this one, you get a Velcro bit that you can tear off and it will attach after it's been wrapped. So, with the trauma fix, I've got a cut on the back. See how easy it is to self application. Can't 
can't see the screen on the camera so I can't see how much you can see so I apologize for that I still haven't got a new computer yet as you all know I don't like technology that much so a computer is not high priority to me so I'm stuck with using my camera and the video editor on that which only allows me to edit videos up to 720p I think I'll get a new computer next week like I say it's not a massive priority to me I'm trying to stay away from technology but that's the uh, trauma fix I could get it a lot tighter than that if I had a heavy bleed but uh, that's that easy to put on by yourself try the Israeli field band uh, bandage or field dressing So this one's not elasticated. And probably the most time consuming one to put on. Yeah, I've just torn it, so it's not the strongest in the world. It's not the easiest to put on either, by yourself. easy to tear so not the best ever made it's not really elasticated either so it's not going to put any real pressure or anything on the wound to help stop the bleeding but it does have a huge pad on it and it can be put on even if it is real awkward to put on and more time consuming probably the one that I recommend the least but it is the most compact so if you want a real small first aid kit it's better than the other ones just because of how little bulk this one takes but that's the only reason why I would recommend it just for small first aid kits if you're with somebody who can put it on for you then it's great as long as they don't use too much strength because this fabric right here is just really weak I couldn't do that with the trauma fix or the Israeli. So the Israeli, my favourite, has three tear points, so if you're in a hurry, you won't have to worry or if you're in a panic I should say to get it quick. like I say this one's the 4 inch pad and you've got a tab here to stop it from hitting the dirt so with the Israeli the thingamajigger is called the cleat and you want it so it lifts this piece up that way and the sticker over a wound so I'll try and put on my arm it's probably the hardest limb to bandage up by yourself. And usually I'm by myself, so if I ever have to use these, it'll be on myself. So normally you would wrap it around, put it through the cleat, and then pull it over, but because I would be by myself, I wouldn't get enough tension on it to be able to put it through the cleat so I'm going to wrap it around 
on one side and then pull it tight and then press down with it on my arm to stop it from pulling out and then come over the other side keeping pressure on and pull it tight as I can and then put it through the cleat maybe like I say it's tricky to do by yourself but I work by myself so if I've ever got to use these I'll have to put it on myself through the cleat. Now I can wrap it. I don't know if this is focused or not. It is now. And if I hadn't already unwrapped this, this wouldn't be all hanging down and flopping around. It would be attached by the little bits of string. So it would be easier to put on. But I just unwrapped it to show you what it looks like unwrapped before I put it on myself. So this and the trauma fix are pretty easy to put on. Much easier than the uh, Israeli field dressing. And then this little piece. It's got some teeth in it which grip into the material. So you can Attach it through here and attach it through there, and that would stay. Or you've got a little tourniquet feature. You're not really supposed to use it for this, but you can. So you can put it through so it's like so, and then use it as a windlass put some extra pressure over the well that's really tight cleat and then you can tricky to do by yourself Through like that just for now being clivered in the side as well so that's not sticking out and find another wrap to put that in so it's neater but that's it as a sort of a windless design that's <laughs> really turning my hand Purple, but well, that's my favourite one. The Israeli, it's just a lot more versatile than the other two, and I like the ability to use it. The plastic bit is a windlass for extra pressure. So that's the three that I use. My first aid kits, best being the Israeli. It's real versatile. In real strong material, there's no way you're going to tear that if you're panicking. It's easy to put on. Second best would be the uh, Trauma Fix. Again, real strong material, more stretchy than the Israeli. Good pad. Easy to put on by yourself. Uh, the least 
of the good ones is the Israeli field dressing not stretchy at all easy to tear it's like paper but it is really compact if you get injuries on your legs it's easy to put on by yourself if you're with somebody who can put it on your arm then that's good but like I've said before I work by myself and I spend a lot of time by myself in the woods so if I get any injuries most of them are going to be on the hands I need something that I can put on by myself and this isn't the best if I've got a bandage up my arms or wrists but uh, I like it just for its compactness good alternative would be a uh, few absorbent pads you can stick on with uh, medical tape and then go over it with a crepe bandage which you can take out and flat pack but it's still a little bit more bulky than the Israeli field dressing so that's the main reason why I would recommend this just for real small compact first aid kits but uh, besides that I wouldn't recommend this like I say go with the uh, normal bandage and some uh, absorbent pads they don't hold as much blood as the uh, I don't know what's going on with the lighting there you go they don't hold as much blood is this huge pad but if you're losing a lot of blood then uh, you're in trouble anyway okay, just a real quick video I wanted to do on the ones that I would recommend so that's all I've got to say thanks for watching channel